Hello and welcome to the Daily News Update on Remo TV. Your number one source for local news stories in Remo Land. I am Emmanuel Bitoye. First, the headlines. Honorable Chief Solomon Olusanya would born or laid to rest. Article condemns tertiary education age limit directive. 2024-2025 UEFA Champions League teams reviewed. Nollywood actor Yusuf Olorongbebe is dead. Let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now the news in full. Iperu Remo Ogun State Nigeria witnessed a heartfelt burial ceremony on August 22, 2024, honoring the life of Honorable Chief Solomon Olusanya Odubono. The event marked by deep respect and solemnity brought together family, friends, and community members to pay their final respect to a beloved figure. Retired Honorable Oladipo, fourth Assembly Speaker, described Honorable Odubono as a distinguished public servant and respected leader committed to democracy and good governance. The Lion in State, which features a series of memorial events, including messages from prominent leaders and former honorable colleagues such as Honorable S. O. Dada, Honorable Sovio S. O. Adiaga. Also in attendance are former speakers of 5th, 7th and 8th of the State Assembly in person of retired Honorable Mrs. Titi Oseni, and retired Honorable Suraj Adekumi, and former Deputy Speaker Honorable Tola Banjo, and several members of the present 10th Assembly led by retired Daisy Eleminde. Over 300 attendees gathered to celebrate the life of Honorable Chief Solomon Olusanya Odubolo, a distinguished philanthropist and community leader. The family expressed gratitude for the overwhelming support and love shown during this difficult time. His legacy will be cherished by all who knew him. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar strongly criticized the federal government's directive that tertiary institutions should not admit candidates under 18 years old. In a statement, Atiku described the policy as absurdity and anti-scholarship, saying it goes against the principles of a federal system of government. Atiku argued that education is a concurrent responsibility between federal and subnational governments, and the federal government's directive is extra-constitutional. He also expressed disappointment that the government has no plan to support gifted students, saying the policy belongs in the stone ages and should be condemned by all who believe in intellectual freedom and accessibility. The directive announced by the Minister of Education, Ta'ai Maman, aims to align with the 6334 system of education. However, Article's criticism highlights concerns about the policy's impact on scholarship and intellectual freedom in Nigeria. On Sport News, the highly anticipated 2024-2025 UEFA Champions League is around the corner and the final list of qualified teams has been announced. A total of 36 teams will compete in the revamped league phase, featuring a mix of European powerhouses and newcomers. The teams have been sorted into four ports, with the top teams in Port 1 including Real Madrid, Manchester City and Bayern Munich. Ports 2 and 3 feature a range of teams, including Atletico Madrid, Juventus and AC Milan, alongside surprise entrants like Feyenoord and Young Boys. The final two teams will be determined in Wednesday night's playoffs with Midtjylland, Slovan Bratislava, Bodo Glimt and Red Star Belgrade vying for a sport. The group stage draw takes place on Thursday in Monaco, setting the stage for another thrilling season of European football. On entertainment news, Nollywood actor Yusuf Olorunbebe is dead. The Yoruba actor reportedly passed on after battling a chronic ailment. His death was confirmed on Wednesday morning by popular actress Fuluke Daramola on an Instagram page. She wrote, We lost Yusuf Olorunbebe. We submit to God's will. And that's it on today's news update on Rebel TV. Do well to follow us on our social media platforms at Official Remo TV on Facebook, X, Thread, Instagram, and YouTube. You can also visit our website at www.
RemoTV.com.ng. I am Emmanuel Ibitoye. Thank you for listening. Bye.